Guys, every once in a while, a knife falls through the cracks. And I mean, literally, this knife fell in behind a bunch of other stuff. I did a quick video at once before. We're basically going to start over. Let's take a look at the knife that time forgot. Guys, this is a video I was supposed to do a long time ago, but this fell back behind some stuff, completely forgot it was here. It's the Artisan Cutlery Rec Heart designed by Joe Flowers. Let's get this out of the way and talk about this. So this this is a, this is a knife that I absolutely fell in love with the first time I ever saw it. I remember when it came, we did like a first impressions video. I'm basically gonna redo the first impressions because that's the only thing you ever guys ever saw. This thing has been back behind some stuff for a while. I completely forgot about it. This is a beautiful, beautifully done faux dagger style um, fixed blade that uh, Joe Flowers and I talked about when I had him on a live feed. This thing is so good. You've got this like dagger style coffin ended handle done in G10, black G10, black coated blade. Got this big fuller down the middle. It is in ARRPM9 steel. Um, but it's got this uh, this ground down swedge, so you get a really piercing tip, but it is not sharp on both sides. Now, this is a fixed blade, so it does come with a sheath. So you've got a micro, uh, I'm sorry, a, uh, a Kydex sheath on this, and the retention on that is insane how tight that retention is. You guys heard it pop in there. Nicely done sheath. It does have some issues. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, but in hand, this thing is really, really good. This is not going to be a real long video because it's a fixed blade. We've not got action or anything like that to talk about. But this thing is ridiculously sharp. I remember when I first got this, I was like, oh, I really dig this. You have this full dagger um, plunge grind here, but it, like I said, it's a faux edge on this. It is really, really light compared to what it looks like. It's a beefy looking knife, but it is pretty light compared to how big it was. Comfort in this, super good. Just a plain tapered handle, flat spine, and then they tapered it down into the heel of the blade. Really, really nice. I like the way this feels in hand. I don't think this is going to go anywhere. I think I'm going to keep this. I am a sucker for a dagger. This thing is just beautifully, beautifully done. Now, I've done a little bit of cutting with this. Um, not much, just some paper. But I'm going to put it through its paces. I want to see how well it cuts because it does transition down nice and thin for a fixed blade and to a dagger to boot. But I think that's because they didn't use overly thick blade stock. I have a feeling that this is going to do really well. It's almost a boot knife style knife that you've got here. Like I said, super comfortable, lines up. I think it's going to cut really well. Only thing I really did cut was a little bit of paper, a little bit of cardboard. Now, there's a couple things about this that I don't like, and it's not the knife itself. But we're going to talk about those right after you guys hear from this video sponsor. I just want to acknowledge Doll Strong Knives for sponsoring this video. They are offering a broad selection of knives that will fit the needs of everyone from the at-home foodie that just putters in the kitchen all the way up to the professional chef level kind of quality. They've got a broad selection of every type of knife you would need for any situation from choppers all the way down to your fine detail pairing knives and things like that so go check them out they offer some of the best looking knives as well this is part of their shogun series this is an amazing knife go check them out support the channel you know that your kitchen knives are the knives you're going to use the most why not get good ones so now let's turn this around and get back to the video so the only issues I have with this knife are not with the knife itself. It's with the sheath. Um, I dig a really good sheath. This is not a bad sheath, but the problems I have, I don't like this belt clip system that's on it. I really don't. This would absolutely get replaced with a soft loop or something like that. But then in that lies the next problem. If you're going to carry this with soft loops and carry it scout carry, I mean, if I had a tech lock, I might be able to turn it, but I can't turn this particular style to go the way I want it. I can't flip it to count and carry it, scout carry. And if you do use soft loops, the problem you have is the retention on this is really, really tight. You can hear it snap in right there. I do absolutely, like, it hurts my thumb. I do like good retention, but the fact is I still want to be able to access it rapidly, especially if I'm carrying this on my belt. A lot of times if I'm carrying a fixed blade, I'm going to wind up, that's going to be my go-to for any self-defense, which this, I think, would be great for that. This may have done better with a, a leather sheath. I really think a leather sheath on this knife would be better. But the thing is, it's not a real expensive knife. So 
you know, that's adding additional cost. I really don't know. That's the only real issues I have with it are the, att the belt attachment system because it is, it's keyed. Like, see how I can't turn that? I would want something different. Now you can use Molly gear. You can use different things on it. So that's just my big thing. I do like this knife a lot. I like this knife a lot. I'm pretty sure that over time, the sheath will relax a little bit. And uh, the sheath is scuffing up of the blade. That's the other thing with Kydex. Like if you if you got this knife and you really liked it and you wanted to maintain the finish on it, uh, this is not going to be the kind of sheath you want. So at any rate, guys, this is a great, great knife. Joe was a great guy to have on the show. Um, this, I absolutely dig this. I wish I had gotten around to it sooner. I just absolutely, I forgot it was here. So let's turn us around, do some final thoughts, send you out about your day. I absolutely do love this knife. A dagger, a faux dagger, all those knives appeal to me. This is just a really comfortable, good all around fixed blade. This is what I would consider to be in that tack realm. We know that that's just a word that gets thrown around, but I really, really dig it. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did give the video a thumbs up, if you didn't give it a thumbs down, please let me know. I will do more about this. This knife is not going to fall by the wayside again. I don't know how it did. So um, you guys know I put an ad in for one of my sponsors. Go check out my sponsors. I've got affiliate links down below. You can use those to buy anything you want. Uh, you know, at any of the major vendors. I have a coupon code beyond EDC that saves you 40%. That is crazy sharp, all one word, uh, all lowercase. That also works at Fair and Forge Knife Works and Rosecraft Blades, where it will save you 10% at checkout. Um, I've got, like I said, all the vendors, but I also have an Amazon store. You can take that link, pin it to your browser, use it for any Amazon shopping you're going to do. Check out the public Discord that I've built. It says join the community. Just click on that and you can just get in there, start having fun, meet other of the subscribers. Uh, I'm in there pretty regularly too. I've built a membership. It has its own private Discord. I do exclusive content. I do giveaways and I have a premium tier sharpening tutorial series. So check that out. You might be interested in joining the membership. Guys, that's it on this one. The year is rolling to a close. Um, if it is your birthday, happy birthday. If you're seeing this after New Year's, happy New Year's. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video.